Friday everyone. I'm Ann Burchard. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today we're going to learn about masking. I'm going to be using the Band Together stamp set as well as the Buffalo Check background stamp. So let's make this card. I'm going to start off by using the Stamparatus. I've placed a Whisper White cardstock that was cut at five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and place there in the corner. I'm going to be using Memento Tuxedo Black ink because it is alcohol marker friendly. And to color our flower and the stem, we're going to be using the Stampin' Up! lens. All right, I think that's good. Press it down, give it a massage. Let's see. Oh, it looks great. The great thing with the Stamparatus, it comes with two doors. So I'm going to take this door off and add my Buffalo check. It's all set to go. And what I'm going to do is temporarily adhere it to the Stamparatus so it doesn't move. I have a little bit of low tack tape here so I know where to place the card. And since it's a full background, I can't use the magnet, otherwise it'll get in the way. That's why I use the temp. I'm going to be using Smoky Slate to create the background, but before I do that, the most important thing and why I'm posting this video is masking. I have gone ahead and already stamped the image on, let me show you, on this Avery Removable ID Labels. This is fantastic. You get 25 sheets. I've had this for a couple of years and I don't think I'm halfway through. It is great this is not an endorsed video, but you get your money's worth. Not only the ink doesn't bleed through, but I can reuse the masks over and over. I just store it in the stamp set case for the next time that I need it. So I will go ahead and line this up. There we go. Make sure it's down. All right, again, Smoky Slate. Like I've mentioned before, you can use the stamp cases underneath the door. Gives you a nice solid platform to ink up. There we go. Hey, here goes. Definitely want to press everywhere. But with the Stamparatus, if you don't get a good stamped image the first time, it is easy to restamp because nothing has moved. Yep, definitely need to redo that. Okay, give some more ink. Press it down. And this time I'm gonna give it a little CPR instead of a massage. Let's see, a little bit more. Now with the mask, it will have a halo around your mask, but I like that image. And a little more, and then we'll call it good. I'm calling that good. So let's go ahead. Now, if you have nail polish on, and it's a dark colored nail polish, I recommend using the take your pick tool, either the stylus side or the spatula end, either one, in fact I'll switch it over, to remove the mask. Otherwise you have the potential of leaving nail polish marks on your project and who wants to start over? Nobody does. So let's get this going. See how well it comes right off? No damage to the cardstock, 
and I'll be able to reuse this mask again and again. It's being a little stubborn. Keep going. There we go. Just gently remove it. All right, now that that's off, let's do a little coloring. Get this out of the way. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to be using the Stampin' Balance. So for the stem and leaves, I'm going to be using the Granny Apple Green, both the light and the dark. I am not an expert in coloring, but what I like to do is start off and fill in with my light color everything. When that is done, then I can go back in with my dark and create those wonderful shadows and blend the light and the dark. You don't have to be an artist, you just have to be able to stay in the lines. There we go. Uh, I think this is a leaf. Okay, now we come in with the dark and color in the dark sides. Now if something overlaps, you're gonna have a shadow. I'm gonna have a shadow down here, a little shadow up here, a little shadow there, and one there. We're gonna give a shadow onto the side of the... And then one more right here. Go back in with the light and watch it smooth out. It should start blending. The Stampin' Blends give you a more realistic look. And you stay in the lines, of course. All right, there's my greens. Now I'm gonna change up the colors. I'm going to use this purple this time. And this is light Highland Heather and the dark. So again, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to cover the entire area with the light. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, then the dark. Again, I'm trying to hit every place where there's an overlap. You would have a shadow. Okay, back with the lights. Blend it all in. All right, let's go to the top one.
So let's work on the center. And I'm going to do, let's see, where'd my card go? Let's do a little smoky slate around the outside. And then come in with Daffodil Delight for the very center. There we go. That is all done, but we need the sentiment. And what I'm going to do is use a scrap of Whisper White. And I'm going to take the Memento. There we go. Scrap, stamp it here. Great. All right. I'm going to use our nested dies, stitch nested labels. I'm gonna center that and run that through the die, die cutting machine. I'll be right back. I'm back. I ran the sentiment through the die shot, die cutting machine. I have a hard time saying that word today. I just use some low tack tape to make sure that the die doesn't move when I'm running it through. And just punch it out. The great thing with the stitch nested labels, not only does it make a stitched on the outside of the cut, but also on the inside of the cut. So you have two options to use that. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this up with some dimensionals. Make our sentiment really stand out. one in the middle so it doesn't sag. Okay, now you can use your take a pick tool using the piercing end and you can take off the bottom of the, the release paper. Simple. Tell you what, this tool is worth it. Let's go ahead and add it down here. Uh, okay, the engineer in me, it's gotta be straight. Got my little T-ruler. There we go. Oh, I love it. All right, it's not done because I need bling. Let's put some bling on here. Remember, odd numbers. And there, that's great. But you know what? I bet we can step it up even some more. Some Wink of Stella. Get the flowers. Look at that. like it. I'm hoping that the camera can pick up all the sparkles. Make sure I'm not contaminating my colors. There we go. And I will call that done. Well, I hope you enjoyed making this card along with me. Uh, down in the description is a list of all the supplies that I've used and a link to my online store where you can shop 24-7 for all of these supplies. Again, thank you for watching and have a great day.